project is kind of driving me batty. I like it. It's a good kind of batty. But to introduce you to these five ancient coins is the whole purpose. And essentially, um, talking about these coins has got me all a Twitter uh, and checking on things like history and such like that, which I haven't delved into. I know I'm not absolutely accurate on all of this stuff, but I really am appreciating these coins a lot more than I would have had I just let them sit in their little bag. Um, a bit of history on these coins that I do know, actually current history, is as follows. A bit of history. These coins came from Uncle Bob some 20 plus years ago. He said the coins were from ancient Rome and they were made of copper. I don't remember him mentioning where or when he acquired them or even if he acquired them at the same time. Mysteries we will never know the answers to. All right, just a quick bit on um, Leanne Spurrier and her uh, neat little video, uh, Ancient Coins 101, which I uh, saw yesterday and uh, enjoyed it quite a bit. So uh, give her a look. She's on YouTube. That's Ancient Coins 101. 101. 101. Right. We're back. <laughs> Some of the things I want to mention about these coins are that number three is a Byzantine coin, which um, my daughter Stacy helped me with. Of the other four, one, two, four, and five, I believe they are made in the same era as um, they have some resemblances as to the way that they were minted. Now, that uh, comes across with the width of these planchets, uh, the irregularness of them. For example, this one here measures one way two centimeters and another way 1.7 centimeters. Other than the Byzantine coin, which is almost a perfect planchet, uh, it is regularly thin and um, and almost perfectly round other than that point. Um, this one here, number four, has quite a rolled edge um, and a very nice design on the um, front of the obverse. Um, and of course, number five, I think, is a coin from Rome. Um, the only one that I can actually say is probably the bust of, of a emperor. Um, and it does have some uh, words that are almost uh, legible. So in my efforts to start this, I wanted to find out what an ancient coin was, how ancient was an ancient coin. So I did a little bit of research and found out a few things. Number one, coin production or minting in the world began in three separate areas, China, India, and ancient Greece. Of the Chinese and the Indian coinage, they are of a different fashion. For example, China's has a hole through the center of their coins, whereas India may have used small little blocks, uh, sort of weighted pieces, um, squares, or something along those lines. In ancient Greece, uh, they made round coins, um, which were uh, minted in the 7th century, um, according to the Smithsonian, between 600 and 650, uh, when uh, minting started, it went to 480 BCE when the Romans took Greece over. So pretty fascinating bit of history. Two, the Roman coin production started in the 4th century BCE, so about 200 years or less after the um, Greeks had started. Uh, and oddly enough, it 
that 200 time frame, uh, they, I think, also took Greece over. So they made coins uh, for 800 years, and um, that continued to the 4th century uh, common era. When Rome split, creating the Byzantine Empire, which incidentally is May 11th, 330 CE, and continued as the empire until 1420 CE, that is the time frame for the number three coin. So surprisingly, the coincidence is that three on the list of questions are, uh, I guess, facts was also the same as the coin. I th thought perhaps uh, the coins were possibly of Persian uh, design, and I did find out that uh, towards the end of their reign, they were using coins and making coins. Um, but of course they were, uh, it ended in 331 BCE. So, I'm assuming the Romans took them over. I was surprised to know that the earliest known currency was from Mesopotamia, and it was called the shekel. Uh, they traded it as uh, weights of the precious metals, silver, gold, copper, and so I'm assuming it was by gram or however they weight, and it was over 5,000 years ago, so somewhere around 3,000 BCE. Now, Egypt also traded uh, in weighted metals, silver, gold, and copper. Uh, but they started printing, uh, making, uh, minting coins in 500 BCE, which would put it a uh, hundred and so many years after the Greeks. So I guess the good idea of coins came along um, at that time for them, the Egyptians although they were using, uh, as I said, weighted metals. Um, finally, one of the other things that I found out was that um, when the coins were made, uh, there were two cities in Asia Minor that uh, started making these coins, uh, Lydia and Ionia, the uh, two areas uh, city-states, I think they were. Uh, well, they were in what is now Turkey. Um, they made these coins primarily out of silver, gold, um, I assume some copper, um, in order to pay the armies. So I have some conjectures for the one, two, four, and five coins. One is the uh, <laughs> number one, for the number one coin, is that it might be Greek. The, um, the guy there kind of looks Greekish. Uh, and on the backside is a bird. So I'm guessing this one might be Greek, but I don't really know. I have no idea what number two is, even on the front or the back. We know this one's Byzantine. Uh, this one I have seen uh, some literature on and actually found it in a, some text on it, but I believe that I caught amnesia and I can't remember either one of these two, but I'm sh sh sure as, oh, so many percentages, high percentages, uh, ghostly percentages, that this number five coin is of course Roman so that about wraps it up for these guys but I have a few more things to go over here on assumptions that I have made that I wanted to... all right assumptions that I'm making with these coins number one all five coins are authentic I'm only um, believing that I'm just setting that as a, an assumption that Uncle Bob would not have been fooled by a fake coin all five coins come from the Greek evolutionary minting tree. I've coined a new phrase. The Greeks started it, Rome thought it was a good idea and stuck throughout, and the subsequent empires also thought it was a good idea, 
various other powers and took it over. Coins were good, probably easier to carry than salt, um, which apparently Roman soldiers were paid in salt from time to time. Uh, I believe the coins are copper, except I have doubts about number three, which looks like brass. At least the corrosion appears to be copper style corrosion, but still, um, there, um, I, I don't have the definitive information on that yet. But as far as the weights go, it, it all holds up. Except number three, one through five were minted earlier than the fourth century. I say that because of the irregular planchets that are used and uh, the um, way that the reverse and the obverse uh, come out. So it looks like they're just being pounded away at. <clears throat> I've seen literature on a few of these coins, as I said before, but it was a long time ago. And I don't remember any of the details. I'm certain there's more information on the coins, some that I may have, but since I have amnesia, <laughs> to paraphrase Futurama, um, I don't remember that information. And also, it could be that the coins are just playing a cruel joke on me. One more point I'm not sure that I have covered, and that is that... Um, out of these five coins, all five of these coins show a peculiar consistency. Um, and that is that if the obverse, um, these obverse pieces are going north and south right now, as you would say, the poles are north and south. I, I have no idea what this one is. And, um, okay, this one's kind of going this way, but anyway, let's just assume that's what it is. North and south. And uh, then I go to the reverse. And on the reverse here, um, we can see that these are going canter. So assuming that the north and south is here, I'm sorry that I'm drawing so sloppily, uh, this one here is canted to the 11.5 position. Um, this one is maybe a little higher on the 11.5, and this is more like a 10.30 to a 4.30. Uh, we're assuming, you see there, that the uh, pieces, this one here, I have no idea. This one goes this way, and we knew when he was flipped over that he's going like this. Uh, and, of course, Caesar is also up down but this guy's going that way so I think that's kind of interesting they've all skewed uh, off in one direction just to wrap up the introduction to this um, special October play on episodes coins that are torturing me uh -huh. no <laughs> I'm actually enjoying this very much uh, this is the relative sizes of the coins, and I wanted to point out number uh, three and number four are actually swapped. Four is uh, heavier than number three, number three being the Byzantine coin. Um, their relative sizes, I went through uh, taking close-up pictures of these, which I want to explore in each individual coin in a chapter or an episode. Um, also want to... Um, show that uh, their sizes, their relative weight, uh, and the like. Uh, so I found this to be very fun. I hope you do too. If you've got any information that you can add to this, please leave a comment. Um, I would uh, love to see it and um, either give it a thumbs up or a response if needs be. Uh, also, uh, I hope to have the other episodes here produced shortly. Hopefully they'll be shorter than this one. Um, I think I've covered all of the basis of uh, what I had at least thought of, and let's see how it goes from there. All right, talk to you later. Bye-bye.